So now the million dollar question, is the mashup for you? What's going on everyone? I'm finally getting around to doing the review of the mashup by Firewire, Rob Machado, Dan Man collaboration. And wow, uh, I'm really liking the board. So first things first, let's go over the deets here. I am 5'8", and I weigh 140 pounds at the moment. Uh, the board is a 5'4", by 19 and 9 16 by 2 and 5 16 and comes in at 27.1 liters. So one quick mention here. Uh, if you want the details of the surfboard, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recommend that you go watch Noel Salas uh, and Surf and Show. He goes over the concaves, uh, you know, the board, the construction as well as um, the design and I think he does that way better than I could so I'm not going to be repetitive there so I'm going to focus on my perception of how it's surfed and how it kind of compares to the seaside since you know my favorite board is the seaside and I've been surfing that so long so the mashup is basically a mixture of the seaside by Rob Machado and the Spitfire by Dan Mann so Firewire provides a chart uh, called Optimal Conditions on their website for each board. Now the chart is designed to tell you how the board would work, and I'm assuming very generally speaking, you know, in three different types of conditions. Weak conditions, standard, and optimal conditions. If you look at the two boards, the mashup and seaside side by side, you'll see something very interesting. Now when I Think about the designs of the board. I would have naturally thought the narrower, pointier nose board would be more optimal in better waves. Um, but based on this chart, it's exactly the opposite of what I would have thought. Now, when I first saw this chart, I thought it was a typo, for lack of a better word. Uh, but turns out, uh, Firewire was pretty spot on. Uh, so. The primary reason I believe the Seaside just edges out the mashup uh, in you know, more punchier conditions, just, and it's very minor, right? We're talking half a foot, is the tail rocker as well as the center rocker. I don't know what we would call that, but the tail rocker, from this picture, you'll notice that the Seaside has more tail rocker, which means once you put it on your back foot, once you get that weight on your back foot, okay, um, it fits in curved waves a little bit better not by much okay but slightly and there's something that you're not seeing which is uh the staged rocker that the um, mashup has when you roll when you lay the boards flat on the ground the seaside rocks pretty evenly whereas if you put the mashup on the ground it kind of like there's like a flat section in the middle and it's a pretty significant flat section so i will tell you this the mashup is probably one of the fastest boards I've ever surfed. And in fact, every time I go out, I have a buddy who keeps telling me that's the fastest I've seen you gone. So a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's got that flat section. Now, the problem with that is once the waves get a little bit more optimal or bigger, uh, it's very hard to transfer that speed into your rails into a turn. Okay, so that's the reason why when you have performance board, there's more rocker and it's actually meant to control speed, not get you as much speed as possible like the mashup. Now on to the most important question. How do I like the board? Um, I mentioned I liked it, but it's actually I love it. I love the board. Although that whole part about I thought it originally being a step up was uh, slightly confusing and I kept taking it out on like kind of bigger, punchier days. Where this board really excelled was small days, just like the Seaside, except I felt like I had about 20% more performance. Like I was able to go rail to rail more. Um, I don't have a lot of footage of me trying to launch and learn my air, but I, I've probably gotten the highest boosts of any board I've ever served on this board on smaller waves. In softer, slower conditions to be able to get that kind of speed uh it's easier to then tra uh, transition into maneuvers uh when it gets bigger it's just too much speed you can't do it uh, at least i can't do it i don't have the skill but i love the board and now it's gotten to a point where i don't want to take anything else out and so that's a real bummer for me 
<laughs> because I do want to continually try uh, to surf different boards. And, you know, I really w want to take a look at this sweet potato too. But my fear is that, you know, that's a awesome Uber groveler. But a lot of those Uber groveler days, this board, although I would have a very difficult time getting into them, surfing them would be so much more fun. So now the million dollar question is the mashup for you and I would say generally speaking yes if you want a great board for small waves fast as you can go as much performance you could squeak out of a small wave this is it when I thought about groveling performance this was probably the board I wanted okay um, the seaside is also great Okay, so if I were to recommend this, I would say it like this. If you're a beginner transi transitioning into a, a short board and you want to be on the correct short board, uh, the Seaside is perfect for, for high-end beginners to mid-level intermediate. The mashup, I think, is probably from mid-level intermediate and up. Now, a lot of you who have been riding the Seaside that are in that you know, intermediate area might be asking, well, do I want the mashup and would that be redundant? And the only thing I could tell you is this. Um, although I'm a low level advanced and I have a seaside, I love the fact that I have a mashup and here's why. When it's small, soft, mushy, I don't always feel the same. You know, there are days I feel energetic and there's days I just feel lazy. Uh, I might be sore. You know, whatever the situation, it's nice to know now that, you know, on a soft, small day, if I want, you know, some good level of performance, I could take out my seaside. But if I'm feeling super energetic, a little pumped up on caffeine, I could take out the mashup and squeeze out as much performance and as much speed out of a wave, right? And even better so than the seaside in smaller conditions um, on the mashup. So, yeah, I mean... A lot of people have asked me that. Should I get it if I already have the seaside? And if I were going off of how I feel, yes, I would 100% say you should do it, especially if you've had the seaside for about a year and a half. And there are moments in those small days where you think, oh, you know, I wish I could have put it on rail a little bit harder or we're going a little bit faster. All right. I hope I did not confuse you. And if I did, I am so sorry. One important thing. Do not size up the mashup. If that's the intention, just go with the seaside. Rather, just get the sea, the mashup a little bit smaller than your seaside if you want that extra performance. What's funny is when I first tried the mashup, the thing I didn't like about it is I kept getting hung up and I didn't know why until my friend told me I was going, approaching the face too fast. So what ended up happening was I was going so fast that I was doing my turns late and I'd get hung up at the top. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I don't know if you like the format. Give me some feedback. I know I did the picture in picture thing this time. I, I was so confused and really just haven't had the time. One last thing I want to say is please watch other videos, other reviews. Uh, Skipper Surf Review, uh, Surf and Show, uh, Jake's Surfboard Review. All, uh, all those videos will help kind of I guess help you figure out what board will work for you and and it's more of a comparison thing so like me I use Noel Solace and I use Rob Machado Kevin Scholes and not that I'm anywhere near them it's just that you know I know relative to them how I surf so when I see them surf certain boards I could kind of see where it fits into my quiver um, and one of the things I did subtly see about the mashup with Rob was that on the bigger waves it wasn't as fluid as he was on the seaside. So I noticed that. And uh, for me, I felt that. And it was because of the speed. It was just too much speed. And that flat rocker uh, just made it hard to kind of transition into rail and into, into maneuvers. But again, awesome performance in smaller waves, right? Even smaller than the seaside. Um, it's all relative because both of them have the almost identical scale. But Go back and look at that graph and analyze it because it'll help you understand where the mashup might fit into your uh, quiver. All right. 
Thanks guys for watching and thanks for being so patient. I am so sorry this took forever. Oh, solo shots been broken, all that good stuff. Funds are super low now. I'm actually in the in the negative, so I don't know when I'm gonna get the next board. So I might just do my next 52 year old doing an air break my leg kind of video instead. All right, like, subscribe, uh, help me out guys. All right, have a good one.